now we can continue on in this problem. And so the, in part A, we were looking at um, starting with zinc and silver nitrate, how much silver would we make? Um, now that we know that the limiting reactant is silver nitrate, we can use the amount of silver nitrate. And we know that we're going to use that up completely. We can figure out, well, for, for all the silver nitrate that we use up, how much zinc nitrate. Now we can look at the other product. We don't have to compare zinc to zinc nitrate because that's not going to give us, we know that we're going to have um, extra zinc that not all of it gets used up. So you could do this again and, and change the, the product, or you can just use the limiting reactant. So since we know that silver nitrate is going to limit how much products we're going to make, it limits how much silver you make, it also limits how much silver nitrate you make. So in part C, they just want to know how many grams of silver nitrate are going to form. We can start with um, the amount of silver nitrate and compare that directly to the, um, the grams of the silver nitrate. Zinc nitrate, sorry. Okay, so we're going to take the, we're going to set it up, basically it's going to look like this, just instead of going to silver, this last part is going to change. You're going to go to the zinc nitrate. So we need another molar mass in here. Let's set it up and then we can um, figure out what else we need to calculate. So I have 2.5, 2.5 grams of the silver nitrate. See if you can set up this problem. Grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams. I have you know, molar mass over here. I need a molar mass over here. So I still need to calculate that molar mass because now we're going to um, zinc nitrate. So I need to figure out the molar mass of zinc nitrate. I have grams per one mole. This is for, so again, this is grams to moles. This is moles to moles. This is moles to grams. And I'm starting over here with the silver nitrate. So I need grams to moles of silver nitrate. That's the molar mass of silver nitrate. And now I want, if I have moles of silver nitrate on top, that's what I'm starting with. I'm trying to get to zinc nitrate. So that's going to go on the top here. This is on the top. Then my moles of silver nitrate on the bottom. Zinc nitrate goes on top. And it's zinc nitrate. I'm missing two after that. And then this is zinc nitrate as well. All right, grams per one mole. So I have the same molar mass here. This is the 169.8 grams. And then if you scroll back up to our chemical equation, I'm comparing, I have two moles of silver nitrate, one mole of zinc nitrate. So I have two moles of silver nitrate, one mole of the zinc nitrate. And then I just need the molar mass the molar mass of the zinc nitrate. Is 189.42 grams. So that's gonna go on the top here. 189.42 grams. And then if you're trying to figure out how to put this in your calculator, you're gonna have 2.5 times one times one times 189.42. And on the bottom, you have the 169.8 times two. And when you work all of that out, you should get 1.39 grams of the zinc nitrate. So if you use up all of your silver nitrate, that's how many grams of the zinc nitrate you'll get. Now again, you don't have to do this for zinc. You don't have to do it for both reactants because we've already identified our limiting reactant. So if it limits how much silver we're going to make, it's also going to limit how much zinc we're going to make. So that's how much zinc we actually make. Oh, sorry, that's how much zinc nitrate we actually make. In part D, they want to know uh, how many grams of the excess reactant are left at the end of the reaction. So our excess reactant, again, reactants are on the left side of the reaction, right? So we said zinc and silver nitrate are our reactants. If silver nitrate is the limiting reactant, zinc is the one that we have in excess. So we're starting off with two grams of zinc. We need to figure out how many grams of zinc actually react and then subtract that from how much we started with. And that will tell, much, how, tell us how much we have left over, right? So excess reactant, so excess zinc is however much we started with. So zinc started uh, minus zinc reacted. So we need to figure out how much zinc was, how much zinc actually reacted. So we can do that. Um, by going back to the limiting reactant again. 
if I know for every, oops, there we go, every um, one mole of zinc reacts with two moles of um, silver nitrate, and I know how many grams of silver nitrate react, I can figure out how many how many grams of zinc actually reacted. So now instead of comparing reactant to product and then reacted to product, I'm comparing reactant to reactant. So how much zinc actually gets used up? So I'm going to start off with my 2.5 grams of the silver nitrate and I'm going to go from grams of silver nitrate one mole of silver nitrate and then I'm going to go from moles of silver nitrate to moles of zinc I want to compare it directly to zinc and I want to end up with um, grams of zinc so I have moles of zinc one mole of zinc, a gram of zinc. So this is again another molar mass sandwich. How do I go from grams? So I'm basically going grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams. Grams to moles using molar mass, moles to moles using chemical equation, and moles to grams using molar mass. So I already know the molar mass of the silver nitrate is 169.8. And then moles to moles, I have one mole of, ooh, all the way up there, <laughs> one mole of zinc for two moles of silver nitrate. So again, going back to the stoichiometric coefficients, I have one mole of zinc, I have two moles of the silver nitrate, and then I need the molar mass of zinc, which is just 65.4. So I'm comparing reactant to reactant. I'm trying to figure out how much reactant actually got used up. So for the 2.5 grams of silver nitrate, this calculation will tell us how many grams of zinc got used up, that's up here. And then I know how much I started with and I can just subtract that. So when you work this out, right, you have your 2.5 times 1 times 1. You don't have to put the ones in your calculator. 65.4 divided by 169.8 times 2 times 1. When you work all that out, you get um, 0.48 grams of zinc. That's what gets used up. That's what's reacted. And if I started off with 2 grams and I used up 0.48, at the end, I have 1.52 grams left over. So that's the answer. That's how much I have in excess. So this is a pretty typical problem um, for a, a limiting reactant problem. So there's a whole bunch of homework to do. It looks just like that. So you can work on those.